So let's bring in Brett Baer, our chief political anchor, mm -hmm. because, Brett, I think the obstruction part of this is rather remarkable because they're saying that the special counsel did not draw a conclusion one way or the other, presented the evidence to the attorney general, uh, but basically uh, left it up to the attorney general, uh, does not conclude that the president committed a crime, the special counsel, but did not exonerate him, but that after reviewing it, it sounds like Attorney General Barr and Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein do not believe, Brett, that this constituted obstruction of justice. Your Amazing. thoughts? First of all, let's just pause. This is stunning. Mm -hmm. After 675 days, after a country has been through obsession, really, of this case and nonstop coverage, this is the conclusion that no American conspired or worked with Russia to alter the 2016 election. Amazing. That the president and his campaign did not have any ties to that action. Think about all the things mm -hmm. that have been said and speculated and talked about. Um, this is a moment that is a complete win for President Trump. To your point about obstruction, yes, they list a, a series, according to the Attorney General, of things that uh, they question about obstruction of justice. Mm -hmm. But as Attorney General Barr has written before, uh, for obstruction of justice to be a crime, there has to be an underlying crime, misdeed, that leads to right. it. They are saying that that was not found, and thereby, as the executive, the commander-in-chief, he is not produce, he is not uh, falling under the guidelines of obstruction of justice moving that forward. I'm sure there will be Democrats on Capitol Hill that say they want to see the specifics and they want to go down that road. Mm -hmm. But the attorney general and the deputy attorney general are making that decision uh, in this report. It is stunning, these Absolutely. sentences here that are completely uh, saying like a complete that and the total Trump vindication. campaign and the president, yeah, it's a, a vindication. A total vindication and for a president of what he said from the beginning. 231 times, Danny, he said <laughs> no collusion or tweeted it. 231 mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. This is the 232nd you know, time about it comes from the special counsel. And so the special counsel, of course, he never leaked. He didn't do any showboating. There was no political posturing from Robert Mueller. He was called all sorts of names, as you'll recall, mm -hmm. from people who, um, you know, from the president to, to others, saying, oh, that, you know, he's just hired a bunch of Democrats. They're just going to come after it. This is the witch hunt. Um, and Mueller never reacted to that. And in the end, you get something where you had Democrats so worried that, that Bob Mueller was going to be fired by the president. Yeah. Never, never did, fired. Didn't he was happen. allowed to investigate. And then it turns out that you have this man who has a stellar reputation, finishes a report that everyone should be able to, to agree was done with the utmost of integrity. And here we have it. So, th yes, we should all pause for a second. And one, also, this is, good, this is great news for America <laughs> that Russia tries to do this and no Americans participate. That is absolutely it's stunning, Brett. It's a win for America, really. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's not yeah. uh, partisan to say that if you're left or right, you should be happy that this is the conclusion that there is not someone in America who conspired with Russia to alter the 2016 election. Um, and there will be all kinds of fallout on both sides. But the bottom line is the special counsel interviewed almost 50 people. Mm -hmm. He had 19 lawyers working 24-7 on this. They had the ability to call grand juries, uh, to, to bring all kinds of, of evidentiary uh, uh, efforts mm -hmm. going forward, and he did not find it. So when Democrats, if they go down this road up on Capitol Hill, they don't have all those tools, and this is a pretty definitive report. Brett, on that last point, can General. I just get a brief answer on the breadth of this? Because we knew that it was almost two years, and there were all kinds of FBI agents, but the detail that Jake Gibson listed from this letter, 2,800 subpoenas, roughly, about 500 witnesses, to the point you just made, if Democrats want to say, this wasn't thorough mm -hmm. enough, what more could you ask for? Right. You can't. And this was, you know, two years plus. And if you think about it in the broad picture, uh, this is definitive. The fact that there are no further indictments, no mm -hmm. sealed or unsealed, nothing going forward uh, from this point on the special counsel's effort mm -hmm. is stunning. And we'll, it yep. will shock mm -hmm. Washington and mm -hmm. it'll shock both parties. Mm -hmm. All right, Brett Baer, thank you so much. We appreciate, we appreciate it. it. And please stay tuned to Fox News Channel and this Fox station for continuing coverage of this story. I'm Dana Perino in New York.